everyone. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm Hatch, and we're back attacking Lightning Returns. Snow is the Lord Patron of Yusnan. If anyone's supposed to protect the people, it's him. Do you mind, Lightning? I'm trying to do Instead, my intro. he's hiding away in that palace, presiding over oh. endless banquets. It doesn't look like he's doing a thing to stop the chaos. He's not. That's why we're here to talk I've to him. I've come to see the Patron's palace <laughs> from up close. Just looking at it would make me feel richer myself. It's the most extravagant building in the world. Oh, it's delightful. The palace is in the Augur's Quarter, right? I don't think tourists are allowed. Hmm. I've heard that there are some parts of Yusnan that only the rich can get into. Not people like us, unfortunately. Uh, huh. It's a palace. They ought to at least let us go look at it for free, right? It'll be all right. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> all right. Let's go to the Augur's Quarter. Let's just sneak in. That'll be fine. This game gives you no time to explain anywhere. Shut up, ho! I'm trying to talk. Make everyone's wishes come true. Everyone. Everyone. Chuckle Buckley, you got some new stuff for me? Hey, you do have some new stuff for me. Uh, they need some ether coils. Okay, I don't have any of those. Good to know, though. Soulful horn. What is this one? Uh, poisonous sting. I do have some of those, but not enough. Okay, I'll take that. But yeah, uh, last episode we found some uh, numbers. We don't know where the rest are. Now we're exploring Yuznan. There you go. <laughs> uh, broken gyroscope. I think we already have that one. Right. Da, 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 people da, da, say it's da, possible da, to sneak in. Da. Apparently there's some sort of back door. I definitely think it's worth looking into. Oh, Hope. Always trying to look into the back door. It seems crashing that part. Look, and how might shut I up, Hope. Hope. <laughs> Hope talks a lot in this game, doesn't he? Ooh, a bravery potion. Alright. I think I, I feel like I need one of those. I mean, I got one. Sneaking in. Shut Welcome. up, Hope. <laughs> How can I be of help? What you got? You got some beer? Fire and a bottle. Fully restores HP. Interesting. I mean, I don't need any of that right yeah, now, but it's I good to know. I don't think I'll go unnoticed this time. So, maybe I... <laughs> This is the Glutton's Quarter, a paradise for gourmands that serve up dishes from every culture. If the world's ending anyway, I suppose you might as well enjoy your last meal. I mean, I'm down for that. Welcome! <laughs> a customer! This is so exciting! What can I get you? I love your hat, well, dude. What do you serve? <laughs> Anything you want. How about the chef special made from top quality recycled materials? Mm. Deep fried niblet hairballs. Gross. Um, are you sure that's actually No, edible? not at all. Oh, yes, it definitely won't kill you. I can guarantee it. Mm. And since you're my first customer in days, no charge. Um, uh, you know what? I'm the savior. Let's do it. Nothing ventured. Nothing gained. That's the spirit. Take the plunge, I uh, say. Oh, let's eat a niblet hairball. Gross. <laughs> Chef Autour here. Well, does it make your taste buds sing? Are you transported to culinary heaven? She's puking. This is... Too tart? Too much salt, perhaps? I can brush it off if you like. Brush it off? No, it's actually really good. Ooh, jackpot. God, that is a relief. <laughs> Uh, I mean, of course, of course it's, it's good. good. <laughs> I knew you'd love it. I've been working on the recipe for weeks. You tried to poison me, dude. Unfortunately, it's not very nutritious. People are more health conscious these days, which is ironic considering the times. Nutritious or not, you'd think that more people would come back for this. No, it's a hairball. I think it must be me. I just don't have a head for business. No matter how hard I work, I just can't seem to attract more customers. You got a head for that I've been hat, living though. on the brink of financial ruin for years now. My son got sick of it, so he left. And he's doing what You've now? You've got the chops to be a good cook, though. Why don't you try to find yourself a partner? You know, someone you trust who has a better head for business. Now that you mention it, I hear there's a famous food expert here in Yusnan. Apparently, he specializes in turning around lost causes like mine. Flip my kitchen? I'll bet... No, I know he could help me, but how do I find him? All I know is his name. What's his name? And what is it? Gordon Gourmet. Gordon Gourmet! Despite his fame, he's Come hard to on! Down. If you do happen to run into him, could you tell him about CDs? <laughs> sure, I'll go find the fake-ass Gordon Ramsay for you, dude. <laughs> These quests, man. <laughs> These are so weird. Gordon Gourmet. Yeah. I'll remember it. You can go find him you in Hell's Kitchen. Too kind. Thank you so much. I hope you find him soon. I mean, me too, man. Because I'm running out of time. Family food. What a weird, weird quest. Right. Let's check our map real quick. Uh, let's see where we're at. 
All right, we are in. All right, there's the station. There's Glutton's Quarter. We're in the Champions Quarter. We can go down Central Avenue to the Revelers Quarter over to the Warehouse District. Industrial. This is a big city. We ain't got time to explore this shit. Um, that's the Augers Quarter. So that's where um, that's where Snow is. We can't go over there yet. Let's just explore this area. You don't know who Gordon Gourmet is? Ah, he's only the host of Hell's Kitchen. He's rude as shit, but everyone loves him for it for some reason. You want to get into the Augers Quarter? <laughs> you can beg and plead to God, but you won't have a chance in hell. Calm down, man. A little rude of you, shady dealer. Welcome to the only shop you'll ever need. What you got for me, man? Some cool new threads. Um, the Velvet Bouncer. That looks awesome. I don't have enough money for it, but it does look awesome. Oh, that rem oh Blitz Level 2. I think we need to buy that. Uh, let's sell something real quick. What do I have? Um, not much of anything. <laughs> I can sell some Niblet Hairballs. <laughs> don't need those anymore. And I still don't think that's enough. Oh, here we go. I got some self stuff. That's what these metals are for. Good to know. I haven't got a crystal metal. Watch me not supposed to sell these at some point. Alright. Let me get that suit from you. The Velvet Bouncer. Cool. Thanks, man. Thanks for dropping in. No problem. The aromatic market. What the? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> it's like, what are y'all screaming about? <laughs> the Schrodinger. What? Is it just me or does he not really look like a Schrodinger? No looking back. He just kind of, he cast Curing, so. Ice Sparkle. Guard. Oh, he did a lot of damage. What the hell's going on? Am I that under level that I'm just getting owned by a cat in a cradle? What the fuck, man? He's just curing himself. What a load of horse shit. I, I'm out of here. What the fuck is going on? How, under, how am I this under leveled? This doesn't make any sense. Ugh. You know, I don't want to waste any time. We're just going to reload. <laughs> I'll be back. Gourmet. Okay, I'm back. We're still talking about Gordon Gourmet. So, uh, in messing around with my schemata, uh, apparently, uh, if you've played FF13 uh, 1 and 2, guess what? You get free stuff. So, um, I'm not going to turn it down. It's not like it's DLC. I, I mean, I earned that shit, man. I played those games. Uh, but this is going to give me a pretty good boost. So, maybe... Maybe I won't continue to get owned by random bullshit. What do you think? Uh, maybe I will. Who said? Who Every knows? one of our fish is fresh caught and delicious. Good to know, man. Bye. Step right up. Get them. All these dudes just sell the same thing. Yeah, just restores HP. Very strange. Come back soon. All right, bye. Wanted the savior. Oh, I'm a wanted lady. It's good to know. Crimes attempted assassination of the patron. Yeah, that's not completely untrue. <laughs> I did I did bust in the club and try to cut him. <laughs> Welcome to the glittering city. Oh thanks, man. You're a nice dude. Welcome. We have a popular selection of sweets. Good to know. And all these things just do the same thing. There's like six restaurants that just restore your HP with different menus. It's a weird choice. Wanna play? Wanna play what? Was that a kid? Welcome everyone. Uh, Welcome. The Maitre D. Oh, I have the exact same thing. A little, a lot, or full. Do come again. I won't because there's nothing here for me, dear. 
Tell me, are you the famous food expert? How's this Gordon Ramsay? Possibly. I do boast a certain renown in culinary circles. It cannot be denied. I feel like they, if they're gonna I obviously see. make him Gordon Ramsay, Chinese restaurant, you say? Lean into it. I do it. hate to see a good restaurant go undiscovered by the dining public. Like make him an asshole. So, will you help him out? I can take you right there. Oh no, Seedy's restaurant? I'm afraid you will have to find someone else. I'm sorry. I can't persuade you. Impossible. Hmm. This city is overflowing with restaurants crying out for the deft helping hand of Gordon Gourmet. Uh, Gordon. I'm run ragged trying to keep up. And well, you see, Gordon, don't get cut. <laughs> right, man. my rule. I have an ironclad policy. I cannot help an establishment unless the owner approaches me directly. You just made that up, didn't you? Yep. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Can you do this for me? Just give me some advice now, and I'll pass it along to the owner. You don't have to come to the restaurant at all. <laughs> we don't really need that you. That sounds reasonable. I mean, I'd hate to see a restaurant serving fried niblet hairballs Ugh. go under. It just sounds Except gross. if I give advice, I need to make sure that it is communicated accurately, with total precision. Gordon, I and swear. And that my messenger has to understand the instructions perfectly. Really? Well, I guess that rules me out. I don't know the first thing about fine dining. Oh, you don't have to be a top chef, or even a garde manger. Or even a hell's All kitchen. All you need is a discerning palate. Practically anyone can acquire one with a little training. What? I'm not sure what you mean by a discerning palate. I don't either. I don't man. think I have one. I do, and I don't know what you're talking about. I say, it can be found. In fact, a tour of the best establishments of the Clutton's Quarters should do. I've already done all that. Six most popular restaurants are found in Clutton's Quarters. Eat all six cheese. Now this is the epitome of bullshit fetch quest. You want me to go spend my hard-earned gill eating it to, to oh my god, Gordon. Uh, I hate Gordon Ramsay so much. Anything over here? <laughs> Man, does that include this one? I guess I'll find out on the way back up. Man, what an annoying quest. Alright, let's use some of our stuff here. I forgot where it was at. There we go. Chronostasis. Getting low. So I use it sparingly. Alright, so there's six of them total. And the gluttons quarters. We'll start over here. Uh, there we go. You first. Welcome! How can I be of help? Hope I have enough money. And we have some green cherry. From the elegant simplicity of straight spirits on the rocks to complex and fruity concoctions with little umbrellas, we serve all kinds of drinks. Cocktails can be served, chilled or warm, shaken or stirred. Everyone has their own preferences. We encourage customers to consult with our staff to create the perfect cocktail to accompany their evening. Thanks, bartender. You've mastered the way of the sommelier. Um, I'm quite the aficionado myself. I'm not quite a sommelier. Yeah, of course I am. Um, but you don't become a sommelier by hearing one generic bartender tell you you can make a drink by mixing it or shaking it. Bye. <laughs> what a jerk. That was useful information. No, it wasn't, Hope. More to learn. It you was not. More restaurants in the gluttons quarter. Oh, there's fishy flavors. Every one of our fish is fresh caught and delicious. What do you got? Yeah, I'm going to consume something anyway because I love wasting money for quests. We get our seafood fresh every morning. Comes straight out of the ocean. Tastes great raw or grilled. A chef is even more important when preparing uncooked dishes. The way you slice a tuna makes all the difference in the world. Yay, the poissonier. Light, I'm glad you're enjoying all the food, but I hope all these rich meat. Shut right up, up. Get the best meat and kebabs in Yusnan. I will. Give me the beehee burger. Our meat is shipped directly from the wildlands. We use only natural ingredients, none of that synthetic stuff. Yeah, get that synthetic Frilly shit out of here. Roasting are the best. The key is knowing how to seal in the juices and flavors, and we do that better than anyone else. Good job. The rotisserie. You're gonna be a real food connoisseur by the time this is over. Just... The song of the savior. Oh, there's a play about me. That's nice. Alright, is there another one down? Yeah, there's Terrace Cafe. Nothing but the Welcome! We have a popular selection of sweets. What you got? Let me get a fluffy fan, homie. 
Our customers come here to put down their shopping bags and rest their weary feet. Our cakes and sweets are the perfect pick-me-up for just about everyone. We put a lot of love into our cakes, and that's what makes them so good. They're like treats for your palate and soul. The potassier. All right, so there's one I'm missing. Two more places, light, and you'll have managed to see right the popular restaurants of the Glenn's That's Court. upstairs. Ugh, where's the other one? Nope. Did I miss it over here? I bet you it's back by the, uh... What's his name? Yep, yeah, down here. The veggie parlor. Oh, she's got a pumpkin. <laughs> I like you, you're cool. Let me get that pea soup from you. Even kids who hate greens love my veggie dishes. That's weird, but okay. Vitamins and vegetables are determined by their color. You want a wide variety for a well-balanced diet. The un Alright, so I think the last one is the one at the top. Almost there, Light. You have one more restaurant left to visit. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so we gotta go all the way back up to see the maitre d' and then we're done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, and just say this out loud. These these side quests are not congruent with what this game should be. Like this 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 feels like just busy work, doesn't it? I love a good RPG fetch quest, but the entire buildup of this game was it's the end of a trilogy. Fast paced, action packed, we're, we're raiding uh, Snow's shit, and then we're, you know, sneaking around and. Ugh. Give me the Snow special. When offering a complete dining experience to discerning patrons, superb food and excellent drinks are not enough. One must always anticipate the needs of your patrons. I am constantly assessing the dining space from the viewpoint of my customers, the comfort, the decor. Mm, yes. Our customers want more than just the meal. They come for the memories they can savor for years to come. Also, notice how my tables are socially distanced. Croissant? That, that does not, that, that is not a good enough quest to give me the Final Fantasy music. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'm talking to Gordon. the culinary tour? I did what you suggested. I visited the top restaurants in the neighborhood. That is excellent news. Excellent. So now let me give you the advice I promised. All right, I'm ready. If CD's restaurant wants to turn its business around... Uh, wait, let me ask you something first. You've eaten at CD's and at the best establishments in Yusnan. Why don't you tell me what you think is the main difference between the two? I'd be interested to hear your opinion. In your own words, of course. Why? They, uh... Is this some kind of test? Yes, it is. Yes, exactly. Oh, yes. Now tell me, what did all the successful restaurants have in common that poor old CD's lacks? Well, let Charisma? me see. Everyone I spoke to was helpful. They seemed honest and open. I don't think they were lying to me, but something, something seemed off. Hmm. Oh, would you care to elaborate? Please do. Well, it almost felt like they were hiding something from the customers. But it wasn't as if they were deliberately lying or trying to deceive anyone. In fact, I don't think they realized it themselves. They thought they were telling me everything they knew. But were they? Yes, that's it. It was unconscious, like an instinct. They were hiding something, but they weren't doing it deliberately at all. I'd say the very best chefs, restaurant managers, and bartenders all share some kind of secret. It's like a special ingredient that makes their food stand out from the others. Mm -hmm. What a wonderful deduction. You have hit the nail on the head. To think you discovered this answer only after visiting a few establishments. Yeah, that was pretty it quick. It is, as you say, the best, most successful restaurants have a certain je je ne sais quoi. a secret something that makes their offerings unique. And finding that something, that is what I do best. In other words, if the restaurant does not already have a special something, then I simply cannot help it. Then what about CDs? Do you think you can help him? Change the name. I can tell you this. The chef there already knows his secret. The talent is there to make that restaurant a success. Unfortunately for him, the secret spice that gives his dishes flair is extremely rare. He cannot secure supplies, and that is why he struggles. Hmm. Let me be specific. Once upon Please a time, don't. CD's recipes all featured the spice commonly known as civet musk. But then civet supplies musk? dried up and the restaurant fell into a long decline. Says disgusting. You seem to know a lot about CDs. You do know a lot. Man. Well, a long time ago, let's just say we have a close history. It's a sign, it of course it is. Fine by me. All I need to know is that if I can find this spice, the restaurant should start bringing in customers. 
Yes, exactly. Wait, no. The problem is the spice is not easy to no. find. No. In fact, the only way to acquire it would be to defeat certain monsters. Oh. Such a shame. All for want of a single spice, his restaurant is failing. He has the recipe for success. He just needs the final ingredient. That's all he needs. Oh, another fetch quest. <laughs> God. That's not even the end of the quest. Unbelievable. <laughs> What a huge waste of time. <laughs> hey, Square. I'm not having fun with your game. <laughs> you just had me running around doing dumb shit. I'm supposed to be saving the world. Instead, I'm scared of fights because I'm underleveled because you put some bullshit on me. Civet Musk. Well, well, now that you mention it, I did use it in my dishes once upon a time. But you don't anymore? I'm confused. All right. I think we're done with this part of town. <laughs> Let's go explore some more. Let's go see what's up. Go check on the train time, see if it's time to leave yet. I figure that each Chocolina and each has a, a different thing. Are you taking the train? Uh, Luxarian. So I gotta go back to Luxarian first, and then go to the South Station? You know what? No. Don't board. Don't do it. Alright, so, um, turning point. Um, if, if you're a big fan of this game, and I, I hope, I hope you're out there, because I want to hear from you, because I'm, I'm not, I'm not loving it right now. Um, in fact, give me a shout in the comments below. And I will finish it. But as of right now, I'm done with Lightning Returns. Like, I, I feel like this is something I could enjoy off mic. Like, it would just to space out and follow a guide. But this, it's just not, I'm not, I'm not having it. It's not fun. Um, I feel pressured all the time against the clock. And the side quests feel like they're the main part of this game. And they even lay that out early on. Like, hey, look. You're gonna have to do all these to level. You have to do side quests to level up. And you have a time limit. And you don't even have a party. It's just lightning. And I love lightning. And as much as I want to collect all her cool costumes and stuff, and look how pretty she is, but here's the real thing. My PlayStation 5 came in yesterday. And um, I want to play it. And I got some really cool games lined up for it. So... As of right now, this, yeah, this is our last episode of Lightning Returns. I hate start stops, I do. Um, it started off so well, but I just, I'm, I'm not feeling it anymore. I want to play it casually. I don't want to play it uh, as, a, as a let's play. Huh. Talk me out of it, please. Later. You gotta tell now, tell